So guys, it's me Sivo. In today's video, I'm going to be doing cooldowns. It is very simple to do, so uh, let's get started. So if you don't know what a cooldown is, it's where you can't, you can't do a command more than once but, um, in a certain amount of time. We're going to do sync where if you do type sync within the seconds before the cooldown um, ended, uh, it will catch the error and it will send the user a message. But before we do that, let's just do the command. So commands dot cooldown and then we're just going to put uh one and we're going to put in the amount of seconds we're just going to do five seconds because we're just going to be testing it and then you're just going to write in um commands bucket and then dot user as this gets user so commands dot bucket type i don't really know what bucket type kind of does i think it's like a group or something or something like that and then we're just going to do user and then that's all you have to do for the command so the command you want to call down in you just put this now let's catch an error if someone does type between the cooldown so we're just going to do an event so bot dot event async death on underscore command underscore error and then this is we're just going to put two things inside here we're going to put in ctx and we're going to put an error and now we're going to do if there is instance so if there is an instance uh error and then we're going to grab the cooldown so dot command uh on cooldown there it is and then um with that we're just going to await so now we're just going to await your ctx so await your ctx dot send and it's pretty easy so we're just going to do uh, an entering put them in brackets we're just going to do round and then um we're just going to get an, the error basically so and basically present how many seconds are left and it's pretty simple to do this. We just do this by doing the error. So we grab the error dot retry after, and then we're just going to do two. And then we're just going to do seconds. That is that. That's literally all there is to it. Now, if we uh, run the bot, if we type in ping, and then we paste it straight away after, it's going to say, you got to wait that long. And then we can keep doing it and then doing it. We can also add a timeout. So we can actually um, delete the message after a few seconds. So we just do this by doing delete after. So just like that. So after five seconds, it should delete that. Um, how many seconds are left? So if we just do ping, just like this, and then we just go ping, and then ping, and then we wait a few seconds, one, two, three, four, five, and it should be deleted as you see, and it clears it all up and it looks nice and cool. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, that would really help and bye.